guys. Um, so I just watched this video. It was an interview, actually, um, on the No Jumper podcast with uh, Kevin Samuels. And I'm really glad that I watched it because I was able to listen to him without the um, without him interviewing a, a person and having to talk to somebody else. You know, he's just talking about the things that he finds important and the things that the messages that he want to convey and and it brought me to to think about these things so people people in general have a tendency to hear someone and only hear the things that they either want to retort or they want to agree with everything else is white noise once they hear these things and they and you know they're waiting for their turn to um reply they're only going to reply repeat um share the portions that they either want to agree with or disagree with and they will focus on those parts and those parts only you know and to me, just in, through my experience in life, and I'm guilty of it sometimes, this is what happens. We're looking for those things that we either that either benefit us or we want to argue about because that's going to benefit our argument. So the person that originally delivered the message can even respond to the people and say, hey, I hear what you're saying. I agree with 75% of what you're saying. These are the things that you said that I absolutely agree with. They can expound upon it. They can share these things like you're absolutely right. But this 25%, I'm not too sure about. And these are the reasons why, you know, I might say, I might respond with, because in this 25%, there's no black and white. Things are not concrete they're not here or here there's there's, a, there's an area of gray that you can live in <clears throat> and the people will disregard the fact that you you agreed with mostly everything they said and they just and just focus on the 25 percent it's like are you even are you even coming close to listening so i thought about that because <clears throat> the one video i did um just kind of talking about one of the things that kevin samuels mentioned you know and one of his videos, because some of his videos are very long. I don't have three hours to listen through certain parts. And then, like, a lot of his taglines are meant to um, get people riled up. You know, he got, he went viral for something that was a little negative. It was a negative part of a clip, even though I listened to the whole part <clears throat> with the lady average as best. And I agree with a lot of what he was saying <clears throat> to her. Um... You know, I said in my video that my issue really was that you can't just say that these people fit in this category and there's nothing you can do about it when it comes to relationships and dating. <clears throat> you should, you have to offer some kind of solution because guess what? The 35 year old who is doing pretty well for herself can't go back to being 25. <clears throat> she can't, she can't do it again. She can't go back in time. So how do you push forward? And the men, you know, they just went on a rampage. Like, you don't know what you're talking about. And I'm like, I'm, all I'm saying is the have it all part is a possibility. And having it all is pretty much job, family. So job, husband, kids. You can do those three things. But, it's, you know, it's hard. It's not, it's not easy. It's not, it's not a fantasy world. It's not something that's going to be easy to do. And they just couldn't hear those things. Um... <clears throat> And then reading the comments, you know, it led me to believe that men are, that this man is telling these women, these men that, and these women, that a man doesn't want a woman that has success or has a good job. That's not what they're looking for. They're looking for, the, for, for somebody that looks good on their arm and keeps it moving. But in listening to this interview, he's not, he, he doesn't believe that. He even said... You know, realistically, you need a two-person income in a household. So, you know, 
you need you need you need your partner has that you know we have to work we have to work together um he's he also was saying that um you know the the values you know what do you bring into the table which i agree my very first video that i did was asking like what do you do like women you want all these things but you don't have you don't you're not bringing anything to the table and you know the people in the comments like men don't want anybody to bring anything just it's pretty much like just be pretty i'm like okay i mean even a guy called me a one i'm like shit i'm lisa five like give me that i don't wear no makeup or nothing i mean i don't look terrible you know i work out my husband likes it you know um I also did a video that says that says it's you know women in their 30s which I always believe is just it's not easy for you like you you are what you're looking for in your 30s you can't get you're not gonna get it you know you have to change what you want but I see that that he is he is we are kind of on the same wavelength but it's all about how you um it's what your niche is and I get it and I get your niche and you have to you know everything is a business and the men are going to love, you know, the parts where it's like, yes, men hold the, the strengths to the relationship because it's true. Men hold the power to the relationship. Men hold the power for us to get married or not, when we're going to be official or not. The woman is always ready. Most women. Most women. You know, not all. There's women that are like, I ain't ready. You know. And, yeah, that's true. But the same re unrealistic expectations that women have of men men have of women as well um it's just finding a happy balance and you know one thing he did say in the video was something i say it's finding a person that's right for you and what, what are you willing to get what's right for you what matches you what what energy matches you what is what is for you and yes unfortunately we live in a world of visual all this social media and you know flexing but guess what that world has been out it just wasn't online you just had to be outside you lived in new york you go to school like man they dress real nice how they extra fly those people live in the projects and they be extra fly you walking through the cave like yo how i get these sneakers so yeah you flex on the gram and it's readily you know it's readily available but guess what people have been trying to keep up with the joneses forever that's not something that's new but it's a little bit more rapid and then the people in the smaller towns are now able to see the same things that somebody like myself and where I grew up <clears throat> where you can you know it's easy access you know New York is a fashion capital so fashion is prevalent and things of that nature and needs and wants um, are always there but I just say that to say this. We have to start listening a little bit more and understanding what people are saying. Um, being more open-minded. Um, do not close yourself off to possibilities. It is time for us to be a little bit more philosophical in our thinking. A little out of the box thinking and not believing that everything just fits in these in these perfect squares there's so many variables that come in life and things changes and situation changes things you know the biggest thing like in the army you'll, you'll be given a class and you're teaching a block of instruction to people and they will you have the people in the audience like well what if this happens what do you do situation is gonna dictate I can't give you a, a, a direct answer that if a mortar is coming from the east and the, 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 the wind is gushing from the west at 30 miles an hour where will the mortar land do I run to the right the left up down I don't freaking know once it's coming your way react I don't have the answer for you. And that's the thing. People are looking for the answer. <clears throat> and there's no such thing as just the hard fact answer. Because, yes, 
if you're 35 years old, you got two kids, you know, are you the typical marriage material? No. Is it possible that you can find somebody and get married? Yes. So, don't be close to it. But also don't think that you, 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 your, your, your cootie cat is glittered in gold, because it is not. It might be glittered in, you know, you know, steel, I don't know, titanium, not titanium, I don't know. you know, something, something a little cheaper. <clears throat> but you have to make adjustments and categorize who you are and what your possibilities are. So I understand that everybody wants to live this, this fabulous lifestyle and things of that nature. But it's not for everybody and everybody can't do it. You know, I have requirements. If I, I couldn't be with somebody that did not understand the value of traveling and did not want to travel with me. If you don't want to travel with me, I don't, I don't. it's a requirement. Because I know that at the end of the day, if I married somebody who wasn't willing to travel, one or two things was going to happen. I would be traveling without them and they just have to deal with it. Or I would just would not be happy. <clears throat> I wouldn't I wouldn't be happy, you know. Anyway, back to my point. You you have to start listening, guys. You have to start listening and dissecting what people are saying and not just pulling out the things that make you happy and validate your points or existence. You have to listen to what people are actually saying. Like, I can't wait to have this conversation with the men and just find out, you know, what they really want. Because it's very hard to read men. You know, it's very hard, you know, as women, we try to read all the signs. Like, what does this mean? What does that mean? And we, it's, it's very hard to dissect because men are simple, complicated creatures. So simplistic, but so complicated all at the same time. So I'm excited to have this conversation on February 28th what men really want and you know we'll we'll do a what women really want to and then we'll do a compare and contrast what um just to marry people about what's realistic in life so see you guys on youtube live february 28th cupcakes cocktails and conversation or on my facebook cupcakes cocktails conversation there is no and uh, mark it on your calendars. We'll be going live at 8 p.m. For me, it'll be 4 a.m. So hopefully the cold will be out my eyes and I won't be looking crazy. But right now, it's only 8.21 a.m. So it's not that bad. And for y'all, it's 12.21 a.m. So I'll put this video up a little bit later. But enjoy your day. Uh, let's ride out the rest of this Black History Month in positivity love let's stop turning tearing down the black community and tearing down you know you know the uh, the love that we have for one another and just make sure that we start getting back to the values that make us great <laughs>